Kira has been diagnosed with um, hearing loss, severe, mild to moderate hearing loss at the age of birth. Um, she failed her newborn hearing screening test, and then she was fitted for her hearing aids at about six months. So then she was assigned a therapist who referred us to DePaul, and we've been here since she has been a little over a year, I believe. The advice I would give would be to stay consistent with the appointments, the, audi the audiologist, and to find a program that fits the child early, the earlier the better. Um, they'll have more opportunities and it'll be way easier, like it'll be like nothing's wrong. <laughs> Is that how you feel it is for Kira? Yes. I feel like she like she has no hearing loss. Like I forget often <laughs> that she has hearing loss and wear hearing aids. She's more comfortable with her hearing aids than I am. She remembers more than I do. <laughs> okay. I enrolled Kira to the paw because it was a very comfortable fit because I wanted her to use her voice and not sign language. And this was the best program for that. Um, by being here at the Paul, Kara's gained confidence. She's gained um, listening skills, speaking instead of um, other things. <laughs> She's learned to use her words and to um, convey when her hearing aids aren't working correctly and things like that. Um, she's actually working on her sight words. She loves to do those. She's actually doing her numbers. She comes in from school with no homework, so then she wants, she'll sit down by herself and she'll actually write up until she can um, count all the way up and like write on the paper until she can go no further, like which is up to 50 at least. In a DePaul setting, Yes, Kara's very confident. Um, she's gotten better because she is a shy child, but with the teachers here and the students here, her friends, she's very comfortable. Outside, she's getting better. She She's working on that. Um, she'll tell me she's shy. She don't want anyone to know she can talk, but we all know she can. <laughs> so, um, every day she walks in from school, I'm amazed at how much she's learned. She's so excited to tell me about the things she's doing in school. Um, she loves the sight words. She loves them. She loves the, um, I'm guessing they're like family, the family sight, sight words and she's learning those. She's, that's something new. And she's just so excited to have the school setting and to be around everyone. So that amazes me every day how excited she is about school. Um, the opportunities Kara has gained is to use her voice um, instead of depending on sign language. Um, she used to depend on lip reading. She's learning to listen more. Um, she'll be able to transition into a mainstream school with regular children who does have hearing loss and she'll be able to um, interact with them um, on their level and also be able to tell them that what her hearing loss is and how she's dealing with it. The Paul has helped us by giving lots of support. The parent groups, the um, workshops, although I don't utilize them, but you know, that that's helpful for many families. Um, and they're very supportive in Kara's learning. Um, they keep constant contact with me to let me know how well she's doing or if she's not doing well so I can be able to help um, assist her on getting back on track. It means the world to have Kara here at the Paw. Like I never want her to leave, but <laughs> she's going to have to one day. But she's very comfortable in this small setting. Um, she, it just, just her confidence level and the fact that she can get along with many of the students and she loves the staff. So it means so much to her and I, DePaul being here. Um, the person I am, yes. I did believe Kara would succeed. As, as long as I did my part in getting her enrolled in a school and getting her um, 
through therapy and things like that I believe like I never for one second just like felt bad or took it as something hard it was just another obstacle our family had to get through and it's not even a hard one to me